How's it going everybody, it's the man, the man, the legend, Quad MFT here, and in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys and sort of just overall thinking and discussing with you guys and giving a few theories here and there on what I think the next Black Ops 2 Uprising multiplayer DLC for the Gun DLC edition part of it, what that's going to be like. So starting off with a few of my facts, I'd like to say Black Ops 2 first map pack was titled Revolution and it included a bonus weapon as part of its offerings. It was called the Peacekeeper Submachine Gun. Now I'm sure you guys have seen me use the Peacekeeper Submachine Gun in quite a few videos before and I did really enjoy it. They didn't make it a gun that was completely overpowered. Originally when the gun had first came out, people were like, oh my gosh, this is the best gun in the game, the best gun they've ever seen before in any Call of Duty. But when they got to using it for a little bit of time, they really realized that it was just basically a regular gun. It kind of reminded me a little bit of the vector and the pdw at the same time but recently since the pdw has been completely ducked down completely down dumbed down to it to the point where it's good but it's not great but i also want to tell you guys that with no gun dlc announced as part of the uprising map pack dlc it kind of made me a little, a little bit disappointed now i originally wanted there to be a ton of gun dlc maybe even score streak dlc or map pack dlc i mean of course there's always going to be map dlc but again guys i would love to see score streak dlc maybe perk dlc just little things here and there i know we did have those micro trans transactions that let us have different camos and actually unlock a few extra custom class slots i thought that was pretty dang cool but i really would like to see the next gun dlc return into the uprising map pack but they haven't officially announced it but this also means they that, that maybe they didn't want to announce it but it actually might be coming out i'm not really quite sure i mean maybe they wanted to troll us and make us think there wasn't going to be any, any gun dlc coming out but if i were to presume i would think that the first gun dlc was such a hit with the peacekeeper submachine gun that they would definitely want to bring back gun dlc DLC. So something else that a lot of the community has been recently saying about the Black Ops 2 Uprising map pack is definitely just the little things here and there. You know, a lot of people really want gun DLC and people are wondering why wouldn't they announce the gun DLC? Are they actually not going to have any gun DLC in the Uprising map pack? And I have to say most likely they probably are because I don't really see too many advantages of not importing the gun DLC. You know, sometimes they say they're out of RAM, they're out of too much memory for the game, but I, I feel like they really, I feel like you can run out and it has to fit on a disc or something, but I feel like the get the, the content is actually downloadable i mean i've heard of map packs actually being on the disc before i feel like that's a little bit cheap but you know it's what happens it's what the game developers wants to do but i really feel like they're gonna implement another thing i really like to see a new snipe rifle maybe even another smg i know they probably won't get another smg in black ops 2 maybe another assault rifle shotgun something like that maybe even an lmg i mean you see the community they really don't like too many lmgs because they're just a bit overpowered especially when you're using the lsat with the target finder but definitely guys i would love to to see a new map pack that included a lot of gun DLC, maybe even two or three guns. I think that would be really cool. Also guys, leave me a comment down in the comment section below telling me if you guys would really like to see new gun DLC in the Uprising map pack, or maybe you guys wouldn't. I mean, personally, of course, I've said this multiple times in this commentary that I really would, but a few guys probably don't. But if you guys could make up one gun that could be in the new Uprising DLC, maybe even give a few little ideas, I think that would be really cool. I maybe even base a video off of it. I'll give you guys a little bit of a shout out if I do, but definitely tell me down in the comment section below. You'll have a chance of getting a shout out by me if I do use that video idea, but I really want to know if you could return a gun from Black Ops 1. It has to be Black Ops 1 because I'm pretty sure if Treyarch were to, were to return a gun from any Call of Duty, they would definitely do it from Black Ops 1. So maybe the Galil, the FAMAS, the L96A1 sniper rifle, whatever it is guys, make sure to tell me down in the comment section below. Thanks guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I upload every single day. If we could try and hit 150 likes on this video, that would be absolutely cool. Also remember to leave a big thumbs up down below. Make sure to go and follow me on Twitter and Instagram down in the description below. That's all my social media links. Also make sure to go ahead and like my Facebook page. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been QuadMFT and I'll see you next time.